Hey. <laughs> hey, Shalom, Israel. Shalom. Hey, you know what they say? Ain't nothing to it but to do it. First and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Reka Kwidash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. And the one-third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the land wherever we go. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom. So, uh, yeah, man. You know, sometimes it gets a little tough. Uh, you know, but we must endure until the end. We must do the work. We must believe. We can, must continue on in the faith. We must endure until the end, right? To get the victory, you know. But Elder Yahshua will say, you know, the 144, hopefully elect, and one-third of Israel already have received the victory because they believe. They believe in, in the word of the Lord. So, you know, through the spirit and the power of Yahshua, man, we're bringing out this little short epistle. Lord willing to be edifying and exhorting. Uh, and I, I'm tossing it up, and we should name it, you know, uh, either we must know that, bro. I got a wrote down right here. I only got one precept written down as well. We must know that, bro. Or either, you know, the the, the precept you must be fully persuaded in thine own mind. You know, you, you know, as the strip proclaimed. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You know, you know, you seek the Lord. Nobody else is gonna do it for you. We gotta do these things for ourselves. We gotta we gotta be involved. We gotta be doers of the word, now here's only. You know, you know. Um, so this epistle here, man, is coming from you know uh, as you know, straight through the spirit, bro. Uh, let me move this thing here. We don't want that that goddamn so much looking all crazy and shit. Move that a lot of smoke, you know. Anyway, um, I had something set up back here, but it's taking so long. It's talking about it's gonna take like a whole 41, 45 minutes or something to get that done. I had I had recorded a, a little background. Um, I had recorded a little background. I, I took a little drive this morning, you know, early this morning, you know, before I went to the plantation. And I took a little drive and I sped it up and I, I changed the, the the you know the coloring and, I, and it made it all pretty and stuff. I was going to use it in the background for an epistle. Um, but when it came time to do it, the spirit just wasn't on me, bro. And do you know how much comfort it brought me when Elder Apostle Ramla said when he first opened up his epistle, uh, speaking about uh, he said um, something about. You know, the spirit of Yahweh Shemasha is not on brothers like constantly, constantly because it's the spirit of the Lord, bro. You, you, you know, in this flesh, you can't contain that, man. So the spirit comes and goes as the strip proclaimed. You know, the spirit goes where it listens. You know, no matter no, you don't know where it's gonna come, where it's gonna go, but it goes and and comes. Sometimes the spirit comes and goes. You know, but. As also the scripture proclaimed, the word of Yahweh Shemashah is always in our mouth. It's always in our, in, you know, in our hearts, in our minds. You know, us being followers of the word of Yahweh Shemashah. And it's a true blessing. So, um, you know, when I, when I discovered this morning that I wanted to do an epistle, I knew that, you know, as, as the Lord Yahweh Shemashah say, if you love me, feed my sheep. You know, I knew it's my it's my duty to do the will of Yahweh uh, Shemashai. I prayed, I made a prayer, you know, as we do, because we're doers of the word, not hears only. And I asked the Lord for the Spirit to bring out an epistle. And I waited. You know, I thought about, I had a, I, you know, I got a few, I got some pistols on the back burner. You know, we got pistols on the back burner, bro. We got some scriptures lined up, maybe, you know, for an epistle. But you need that spirit, man, to set that thing off, bro. You know, you just, unless you just be sitting up there reading scriptures. Nobody wants to do that. Nobody wants to sit around and just read scriptures. Yes. Such and such and blah. No. You want that spirit, bro. You want that, you want the, you want, boy. You want the spirit of the Lord to be with you, man. Um... Uh, 
But anyway, so but one I do recall one of the one of the scriptures that I had. Oh shit! See, see, it's gone. The spirit gone already. But anyway, anyway, so, so like it, bro. Let me get back down to the business, man. Let's go. We're gonna bring out this scripture here. Okay. Uh, this is the scripture, Romans chapter four, verse twenty-one. And then we'll get into, you know, Lord willing, Yahweh Shemashai is gonna, um, you know, put the Spirit on us. We're gonna flow through the Spirit to bring out a little short epistle. That you must know this, bro. You must believe this word of truth all the way, my man. That's why we're bringing out this epistle right here. Romans. Um, that's why we're bringing out this scripture right here, should I say. And this epistle. Romans chapter 4, verse 21. That's not the scripture I wanted. Hold on. Yeah, I've been having some trouble with the damn uh, shit. With the damn... Uh, with um, Google as well, man. Thank you, Lord. I'll pray to see how I share my Romans chapter 14, verse 5. So like you, brothers and sisters. Romans chapter 14, verse 5. Y'all bear with me, okay? It says, One man esteemeth one day above another. Another esteemeth every day alike. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. You know, at the end of the day, every man must be fully persuaded in his own mind. Okay? And uh, to my delight, to my joy, yeah, I'm fully persuaded in my own mind. So much so that uh, today, uh, so anyway, today, after, uh, you know, I realized that, hey, the spirit wasn't, you know, wasn't really moving this morning. I went on, went to the plantation, you know. And I listened, that's where I listened to the elder Apostle Ramla's epistle, you know, later on that day, speaking about, you know, how the spirit, you know, comes and goes, you know. You may not be in the spirit today, but tomorrow, you know, may the spirit come back on you. Um, and that brought me comfort, you know, because it doesn't, it doesn't mean that you're, you know, not in the truth. It doesn't mean that you do not believe. It just means the spirit comes and goes, okay? So anyway, I did my little work for the, for the you know, you know, just, you know. That what I could do that day, and I, I left the plantation, and lo and behold, in my travels I ran across a brethren. Oh shit! I forgot. I got to look at this camera, man. This one of them cameras. This that camera. I gotta uh, make sure that I pause it, you know, reset it and stuff. So let's see if we can get this pistol through before that shit, uh, before it has to reset. But anyway, I ran look, look, I ran into this brethren, right? We, so we're gonna be bringing this, the rest of this epistle out. Lord went into the spirit, maybe paraphrasing a few scriptures because um, what happened today is that that's why we brought out that scripture. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. What happened today is uh, so when I left the plantation, I, I ran across this guy, this brethren that I knew. Back in the world, I'm mean, talking about I'm talking about like 20 years ago, bro, or so, something like that. And the the spirit, the spiritual thing about this, that he texted me the other day and asked me if it was me or something like that. And I'm like, yeah, it's me, and I have no idea who it was. But then when I saw him, you know, I saw him today, and I honked my horn at him in passing. Um. Maybe I, maybe I might have seen him before. I don't know. I'm not sure. I can't remember. You know, a couple of weeks ago, I'm not sure. But I, I think I would have remembered that. I hope so. But anyway, I saw him today and I turned around. The Spirit had me turn around and pick him up. You know, and I asked him what was he doing. He said he was going to go, you know, get a drink or whatever. He's Because he's on so-called vacation or whatever. For a little short time 
So I, I, you know, I went with him. I said, "Let's go, man. Let's go," because I haven't seen in a while. Let's see. And I don't do this, you know. But the spirit was, you know, was there that I would go with him. And I went with him. You know, we had a drink. Uh, and you know, our conversation is in the heavens, baby. You know that, month. You, hey, brothers and sisters, let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. But also understanding, you know, be having a balance with it. You know, uh, like we spoke about in times past, uh, you know, not casting your pearls before swine, being not unequally yoked with non-believers, you know, uh, can two walk together unless they be agreed, all these things, all these things, all constantly are, are on in our spirit, because that's, these, this is being doers of the word, not here's only, this is walking in the spirit, right? This is, uh, as we spoke about even yesterday, uh, the schoolmaster brought us to Yahweh Shema Shai. Then once we understood and got the understanding, now we walk in the Spirit. You know, we're not under the law, but we're walking in the Spirit. Being doers of the Word, now here's only. I mean, it's like, we're, it's a part of us, right? So anyway, I could not help but to declare the doctrine, you know, to this, to this, to this guy. And he, he was listening, bro. He was listening. Um, long story short, you know, brought brought out a few scriptures, you know, the key scriptures, and that's why we're making this epistle as well, being fully persuaded in our own mind. But also, you know, the first one, you know, uh, teach this to the wise of the people that, you know, roughly paraphrasing, may be able to teach others also. Uh, and just declaring this word to the children of Israel. I want to go get that uh, Isaiah chapter 60. One. Is it 60 or 61? Hold on, let's go see. Isaiah chapter 60. Is it, I think it's 61. Yeah, Isaiah chapter 61, verse 1. The spirit of the Yahweh Shemasha, I kept, I, I think I brought this out like more, more than one, one time, bro. The spirit of the Lord of Yahweh Shemasha is upon me because he have anointed me to preach the good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim the liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prisons to them that are that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, and the day of vengeance to our God, to com to comfort all that mourn. Okay, to appoint unto them that mourn to in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ash, the oil for joy for mourning. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. You know? But anyway, you know, uh, yeah, and that's what I was doing. Uh, to him, telling him that, you know, um, oh, I told him the whole story, bro. It was beautiful. How much time we got left? Just a few minutes. So, it, yeah, it was beautiful, man, because uh, the spirit of Yahweh Shemasha had me recall um, everything that happened. I, I told him, you know, that this is a prophecy, that, prophecy that's happening to the children of Israel, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, that we're waking up in the last days, remembering ourselves, man, and we're looking around and we're understanding, you know, that, that the, the scriptures are true, dead on, bro. And I told him, you know, how I came about it. I told him about how I used to run around the streets acting all crazy and stuff. That time that I made the billboards and put them on, I made the little posters and put them up on the on the on the, all the telephone poles, saying that we, we should all be clean in 2017. Because in my heart, I just realized something had something was wrong. Something was going wrong on, and you know. Let us all be clean in 2017, bro. That meant that in the spirit, I, I knew that this whole place was polluted, just like the strippers say, you know. It, it, in the book of Micaiah, chapter 2, verse 10. Let's go get that. Since we're on the subject, you know, like I said, we're going to be, you know, Lord, we're going to roll in the spirit and bring out some of these scriptures to the best of our abilities. Micaiah, chapter 2, verse 10. When it speaks about uh, arise ye and depart for this is not your rest because it, it polluted it shall destroy you even with the sore destruction right the Lord is telling us that this is the time of true repentance to come you know 
you got to believe in your Habashim Hashem. You got to repent with your whole heart, you so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. Arise ye in the part, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. Now, I went into the spiel about making that sign, saying that I felt something in my spirit, that something was going on, something was wrong. And I said, we should all be clean in 2017. And then I said that prayer to, yet, to the Lord. I didn't know his name at that time. I didn't know who he was. I just knew, you know, as the strip proclaimed, uh, my people are destroyed for his lack of knowledge, right? And also the scripture, um, I bear them witness that they have a zeal for the Most High, but not according to knowledge. And the children of Israel got a zeal for Yahweh Hashem Hashem, but not according to knowledge, you know. Every motherfucking false doctrine, they're on it, bro. I mean, and they take it to the limit. They surpass the deeds of the wicked. You know, Esau done started, you know, they started to set up a little fucking funky ass church or something, bare as fuck, but then give it to them Jakes. They start praise breaking and shit. You know, they're doing the most, okay? They got concerts and all, you know, big fucking, you know, I mean, they're just doing it, bro. But now, this true gospel is being proclaimed in the four corners of the earth, telling you, you know, without a shadow of a doubt. I, 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 I brought out the scripture, um, Yahweh yeah, Shabbat Shabbat say, You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free, which is one of the, the anchors, one of the, you know, the foundations of the scriptures. Waking up in the last days, understanding that the truth, you know, of course you got to bring out, um, Yahweh yeah, Shabbat Shabbat say, uh, He's going to send us another comforter. Whom the world cannot receive, even the spirit of truth, right? Let's go get that real quick. In the book of John, chapter 14, verse 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. I'm scared to let it go because, you know, the jump back up to the top. John chapter 14 verse 15 If you love me keep my commandments right But no I, I don't really want to get into it right now You know just the contrast of this wicked world And the shit they promote Because they're against the scriptures They're against what the word actually says They tell you that the law's statutes com commandments are done away with But the Lord say If you love me keep my commandments Right Wow what a contrast. Oh my God, I didn't know that was even in there. Why? Because they're preaching lies in the church. They're preaching lies in all these false doctrines and philosophies. If you love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father. And we're talking about from cover to cover, number one, okay? All the statutes and judgments and understandings of the scriptures. Even the, the spirit of prophecy. Letting us know the history. Letting us know what's going on in the present time. And of course... The future, which is what? Ultimately, the downfall of this kingdom. Esau, Edom, the Caucasian race, the wicked kingdom. You know, even going back to um, Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 3, the Yahweh Shemashah said, I'm going to give you passes according to mine own heart that's going to feed you with knowledge. You know, starting with the elders, apostle, great millstone, and all the other brothers on there and the umbrella. So you, there's no escaping this truth. There's one way. There's one way the Lord has set it up to, so, you know, uh, hey, even... Um, John 17, verse 17, you know, I, I, you know, 17, verse 20, Salaki. I, you know, I pray not for them alone, but for them also that shall believe on me through their word. There's an order to things. And like we brought, we brought these scriptures out all yesterday, bro. You know, we just brought, we just continue to bring it out over and over again. You know, directing you to that fountain of living water. Directing the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians go this is the way walk ye in it right you know uh i got you know i got a few things through the spirit that the lord's given me but ultimately he's raised up a whole body he's given some elders and apostles some preachers and evangelists you know for the perfecting of the saints roughly paraphrasing my man so let's finish this off in the book of john chapter 14 verse 16 15 and ye, if you love me, keep my commandments. Once again, right? And I will pray the Father, and He shall give you. And He shall give. I gotta. Let me reset this, bro. Okay. I reset it. I'm gonna pull this shirt back a little bit. There you go. That's a little bit better. Okay. So once again, John chapter 14, verse 16. Oh, good. 
John chapter 14 verse 16 If you love me Keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. Even the Spirit of truth, right? Whom the world cannot receive. Stop it. Stop it. Right there, man. Whom the world cannot receive, right? Because at this time, this truth is a mystery. And it's only given to the 144 hopeful elect and one-third of Israel. But like I like I spoke to the brother, I like using references, bro. I do, I do, I I, I appreciate that from Yahweh Hashem Hashem. I like using references because it it's, it it anchors everything, you know. Like I hey, like I was telling the brother, you know, like hey, like I'm telling you, always go back, always go back to center, go back to to a foundation, go back to the gra to the uh, gravity of the situation, to the foundation. And what's the foundation? That rock is Yahweh Shai, the truth. Not the traditions of man, not what somebody else said. Yahweh Shai said, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Understand the scripture says there's no lie in the truth. You know, he kept asking me, how do you know all these, how do you know all these scriptures? How do you know all these things? I'm like, I don't know. You know, it's the spirit of Yahweh Shai and the teachers of the old apostles of Great Millstone. And of course, the Lord said, you know, study to show thyself approved. You know, to the best of your abilities, you, you know, and of course, these are just basic scriptures. But they mean a lot. They're the foundation. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about, bro? They, that's what, this is it, the basis of the scriptures right here. I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. Even the spirit of truth. And we understand there's no lie in the truth. And that's scriptural. Whom the world cannot receive. Whom the what? The world cannot receive. So, that is the separation. The Lord said, be ye holy for I am holy. That's the separation between, you know, this new song that the 144, hopefully, like the one third of Israel are singing. You know. 144 elect, should I say, are singing as, you know, referring to the book of Revelation chapter 14, verse 3, whom the world cannot receive, the spirit of truth. You know, and the believers believe it, right? Whom the world cannot receive. The world is still out here, gross darkness to people, which is, we didn't get that in the book of Isaiah chapter 60. You know, that's the Isaiah verse uh, 60 that I also quoted. Let's go get that real quick. We're going to have to come back to that. Isaiah chapter 60. Uh, verse 1. Arise, shine, for the light is come. Thy light is come. And the glory of the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Right. Now, look, these scriptures are straightforward, man. You know, uh, I, I quoted him. Also, this gospel, you know, uh, of the truth. You know, this gospel will preach. Did I, did I quote that to him? But anyway, I'm going to quote it to you. This gospel of the kingdom, you know, was preached uh, to, to us as well as them. But it did not profit them not being mixed with faith. So this is a gift of faith that the Lord has bestowed on us. And we're conveying this word to you. And once again, quoting that scripture, you know... Um, Yahweh Shemashah say in the book of John chapter 17 verse 20 Neither I pray for them alone but also for them that shall believe on me through their word And he also said through the foolishness of preaching It pleased him to save them that believe Because all, ultimately what we're speaking about is prophecy Things that are going to happen in the near future Alright So Things that are going to happen in the near future And we're going to get down to the nitty gritty Okay And this is all I was telling them you know, throughout the whole day, that this is a great gift, and uh, it's a true blessing, and truly, you know, uh, the Lord has blessed me and, and woken me up to the truth, as well as all the brothers that you see out here preaching this 100% truth, starting with the elders, apostle, great millstone, and all the brothers on down our umbrella, man. And I, you know, I shelled them off, you know. To, you know the the, the uh, some pages to say hey go watch them if you if you you know the spirit is on you to do so you know the maybe you're gonna repent you know to see this planet 
Yeah, but Shimasha is gonna give the increase. Um, but at the end of the day, this this gospel that's being preached is, in all reality, is ushering in the kingdom of heaven. You know, uh, a new rulership upon the earth. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. And it's a it's a joy and a pleasure to believe it and know it to be true. That's why the scripture we're gonna keep. I think we're gonna keep that title. We must know that, bro. We must know this and believe this. There's so many scriptures we can bring out, as we always do. We can always, you know, bring out a lot of scriptures, but you must know this. Seek the Lord with all thine heart. You know, lean not on your own understanding. You got to know this, brother, for yourself, brothers and sisters. Search the strippers, for in them you shall find eternal life. Watch, continue to watch the videos of the Elder Apostle Great Millstone with the 100% Truth. You know, the Yahweh Shemashah is going to be your guide. He's going to guide you to open up your mind, if it be your light, to believe these words and trust in Him with all your heart. You know, um, and. You know, just getting closer and closer to that day. I, I you know, through the spirit and the power you have, I share my shot. I can feel it, man. I can, I can, I can understand it and I know it. You know that it's not of us. It's not. You know, it's His will be done. You can, you can fight. You can, you know, do whatever you can. Like I remember, Elder Apostle Ramlaw. I think Ramlaw said it. You know, you can be, you can have, uh, you can be. Uh, Fucking prophesying, lightning sh and lightning and, and firing shit, shooting out your ass. Blah, blah, blah. You know. But if you know, if you're not part of the 144 elect, you know, it's all it's about that predestination. And it's the Lord, you have a shot that's gonna one that's gonna show mercy. But what we're doing, we're rehearsing the righteous acts. And we're fulfilling the will of Yahweh Shemasha by proclaiming these words of truth, being cleansed and washed and baptized with this word of truth. Being prepared as a bride adorned for her husband, bro. That's what's going on with the 144 elect. You know, uh, they made blameless and spot. That was that was it, man. That was the scripture that I wanted to. That was, that was what I was initially gonna bring out from early this morning. Something about being made spotless and blameless. You know, ready for the for the bride, ready for the groom. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was the that was the one, man. And it's just it's, it's it's out of our hands, you know. We are, you know, because if you brothers and sisters, brothers know, brothers and sisters know this, man. The ones that's in the truth, you know, the Lord has us has a spirit up on us, and the Lord willing to keep us like this until the, you know, until that time to be found harmless and blameless, you know, um, to be fully converted, you know, to in the Im image of His Son, but. Y'all know that we are rehearsing the righteous acts. You know, we're not trying to be over-righteous or nothing. You brothers and sisters know that's why the Spirit bears witness. Um, and if we do something wrong, we step out of line or whatever, you know, here and there, man, we repent. You know, we just like, I'm so sorry, you about my shy. I fucked up right here. Let me try to make, let me try to get it right. And I'm not trying to do it no more. You know, I'm not, not like that, you know. And, you know, through the Spirit, my man. And that's, it's a beautiful thing. And um, like Big Brother Elder made an epistle the other night. And we just see. The, it was, I think he entitled it the conversation of the wicked or something like that. You know because the scripture tells us to have our conversations in heaven. You know our conversations are always talking about heavenly things. That's why. Hey bro me and the guy went to the, went to the beach. Okay. And at the beach in the car. At the bar. What, what, what is his brother doing? Jump, 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 That's why I can't, I can't be around nobody. I can't be, hey man, I can't be around nobody. You know, uh, it's, if it's, if it's, if the work involved, okay, work is done. Let me get the fuck away from around y'all. Because, you know, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey. <laughs> let's read the scripture. We're going to close it out, man. We must know that, bro. Let's read the scripture again. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. We're going to close it out with that. Romans chapter 15, verse 5. Mm -mm. 
That's not it. 14. Romans chapter 14, verse 5. Salaki. One man. One man esteemeth one day above another. Another esteemeth every day alike. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. You know what I'm talking about, bro? Yeah. I just want to close it out, man. I, I hope this was edifying and exhorting. You know, because um, we understand what's going on around here. We understand the spirit of prophecy. You know, Yahweh Shema Shai got these prophecies coming off the page. We, we know Esau Edom's doing their job. The MARK is right around the corner. The digital dollar. All these things are, you know, right here. But let your, you know, hey, those things are going to happen. You. Make sure that you're fully persuaded in your own mind. Having faith in Yahweh Shemashah that he will deliver us out of all these troubles, bro. Constantly thinking about Daniel, you know, being thrown in the fire. And Yahweh Shemashah was right there with him, okay? Think about things like that, you know, when it comes down to um, the persecution and, and the trials and tribulations and the things we're about to go through. Think about how Yahweh Shemashah... What his name even means. He delivers. He saves brothers and sisters. And this is that time of redemption. This is that time of salvation. For the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. Out of the hands of our enemies. So with that, hey. I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekach, Wadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. For bringing out 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. And the 130 of Israel who believe in the word and follow the land word of God. Shalom Israel. Shalom. Shalom.